Well, we checked, and the Rockies still plan to play baseball without Nolan Arenado this year. And you can watch at Coors Field if you want to do that. I, come on, who am I kidding? No, that place is going to be packed with people who are coming to cheer for the visiting teams. Coors Field is actually going to make it harder to do what so many people like to do. They go to that beautiful ballpark, and they don't really watch the baseball game. Here's Marshall Zellinger. No dinger appearances. Depending on your thoughts on this mascot, that may be the best or worst news since learning Nolan Arenado also won't be at Coors Field. We asked the State Health Department for the Rockies' plan for fans and received this six-page bullet point list. The team will be allowed 12,536 fans for the first seven games against the Dodgers and Diamondbacks. After that, it's to be determined. So for the 11,000 Dodger fans at the home opener, here's what you'll experience. You cannot bring your own food into the stadium. Want a party at the rooftop? Nope. No standing room only rooftop tickets will be sold and access to the rooftop drink rails won't be allowed. Beer here? Nope. No vendors in the stands. So you'll have to get your chocolate covered strawberry fix elsewhere. Beer will be sold packaged. I think that means bottles or cans, no drafts. And pop will be sold also packaged or in cups with straws or lids. By the way, the team's plan called pop soda. Come on, we've been St. Louis enough. Back to the plan. Players are discouraged from throwing balls into the crowd and no autographs or photos with players. Basically, you're expected to actually, you know, show up to watch the Rockies. Well, tickets will be sold primarily to season ticket holders, so maybe there'll be more Rockies fans than we think. I asked the team which row will be the closest to the field someone can sit. I haven't heard back yet. Each section will act as a pod. Under 25% capacity, there will be no more than 78 people per section. And so as not to distract you from ignoring the product on the field, music, video, and public announcement volume will be at, quote, an appropriate level to allow guests to have normal conversations. Because that's why you go to baseball games, just to talk, apparently. Here are some other nuggets I learned. Tickets will be sold in groups of two, three, or four. I've asked the Rockies also what happens if you want to go by yourself because you're not allowed to buy less than the group. That's one of the questions that the Rockies promised they will get back to me on. And because I think it's important to know for people who can't sit in the lower seats, 3.6%, which equals about 450, will be ADA tickets, Kyle. It's good that they're thinking this all through, Marshall, but just trying to picture just like a couple people kind of like, you know, sprinkled about through the stands. And it, it is, as my toddler likes to say, a sad. Uh, the, the details of, of what, who will be allowed in, where they'll be sitting, I'm still going through, but like I said, 78 people. As it grows, each pod, each section at max, I think is 281 is what it said. So just picture 78 sprinkled through. And I want to point out, I keep some memorabilia throughout my office here, and I haven't opened my, my helmet standings board. And I kind of don't want to because the Rockies are still in the second place position, and they just want to hold that. And, and for Kevin, our producer, the Cubs are first in the Central. Oh, he'll he'll love that. You might just not get that out for the year. Honestly, the thing that kills me is that you can't stand at the at the rail on the party deck with a beer in your hand because those are my absolute favorite baseball fans because they're normally looking at the sunset or something else, and then there will be a cheer and all of them yell in unison, "What happened?" That's that's my that's my favorite way to see a baseball game. The "What happened?" crowd. Thank you, Marshall.